Uses of Static Electricity by kscience.com. A laser printer contains something called an image drum, and the image drum contains the powdered ink, also known as toner. So this represents the powdered ink, also known as toner. To print something, the powdered ink is given a positive charge. So the powdered ink is positively charged. What happens next is the outside of the drum is lasered with shapes or text, which is to be printed on the paper. So the outside of the drum is made negatively charged by being lasered with the shapes of what is to be printed. So because the text is negatively charged, the positively charged ink is attracted to the text. The ink is attracted to the text. Opposite charges attract. The next stage is for the image drum to roll over the paper for printing to take place. The paper is more negatively charged than the outside of the image drum. So the paper is more negatively charged than the outside of the image drum. Therefore, as the image drum rotates over the paper, the positively charged powdered ink is attracted to the negatively charged areas on the drum as it rolls over the paper. Sticking to the paper as the paper is more negatively charged than the drum. So the positively charged ink is attracted to the negatively charged paper. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Filters in chimneys are really important because houses release a lot of pollutants through their chimneys when wood and coal are burnt. And this is bad for the environment. A solution is to use filters which remove pollutants. To explain what happens, here's the chimney and here are the pollutants. They rise up through the chimney. Smoke particles pass through a negatively charged grid and gain electrons becoming negatively charged. So these pollutants pass through this negatively charged grid and gain electrons, so are now negatively charged. On the walls of the chimney are positively charged grids. The negatively charged particles are then attracted to the positively charged grids in the chimney. This removes the pollutants from the chimney before they can leave the house. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Electrostatic sprayers for crops are really useful because when someone is pouring insecticides onto their crops, a lot is wasted. So when they're pouring insecticides onto their crops, a lot is wasted. The wastage of these insecticides is a problem for farmers as they waste money. And in case you didn't know, insecticides are chemicals which kill insects. A solution to this problem is to use electrostatic sprayers. This diagram represents the nozzle of an electrostatic sprayer. These orange lines represent the droplets of insecticides, which have been made to have the same charge by the nozzle. And because they have the same charge, these droplets repel each other, helping them spread out. In this diagram, we can see how we have a section of the crops and the nozzle of the electrostatic sprayer. The same charged droplets repel each other as they leave the nozzle. This allows the droplets to spread evenly around the plant and underneath the plant. The droplets are attracted to the crops by induction. The droplets are attracted to the crops by induction. Advantages of using an electrostatic sprayer for crops is they spread out evenly and less is wasted. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding.
An electrostatic paint sprayer is really useful when painting a bike frame. You may think using a paintbrush and paint is a good idea, but it's not a good idea because the paint will not spread evenly on the bike frame. Instead, we use an electrostatic paint sprayer. And this works when a bike frame is given a positive charge. So the bike frame is made to be positively charged and the droplets of paint which leave the electrostatic paint sprayer are negatively charged. So this is the positively charged metal bike frame and these are the negatively charged droplets of paint. The paint is attracted to the metal frame. The advantages of this is that we get an even coating and less paint is wasted. An even coating and less paint is wasted. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.